Hey guys, uh, today we're going to take a look at sales tax and tip. Uh, two things you've probably heard about and you've probably done in your life um, that deal with percentages. This chapter is uh, very applicable to the real world. So uh, what we're going to look at is calculating both sales tax and tips because they're very similar um, in the way that we calculate them. So first, sales tax, you're probably familiar with that. It's, um, you know, the government's money. The amount of tax added to the cost of an item. When you go in and you buy an item and it says it's $9.99, you know you're really paying more because you know you've got a tax to pay with it. Uh, marked price refers to the price of the item before the tax. That would be the $9.99 item. Uh, rate is the percent of the sales tax, which um, you may or may not know is different for each um, state. Uh, in New Jersey, it's, it's 7%. Uh, and then the total cost would be the sum of the items marked uh, price plus the tax, or if we're dealing with tip, plus the tip then. All right, um, so again, we're solving this using a proportion, same way we've been setting it up all along. Um, the tip or the tax goes above your marked price or your original cost, and that'll give you your percent or your rate of tax um, over 100, okay? Same way we've been setting it up. The last th little thing that you'll notice at the bottom of the screen here um, is to calculate the total cost. So this will help us find our tip, or if we're missing one of these other items, we can find that. Um, but if I ask for a total cost, what we then have to do is go and take either our tax or our tip and add it to the marked price. The total cost, I want to I know how much does it cost with tax, or how much does it cost with the tip, all right? So that's what we mean by total cost, and we just have to combine um, our, our answer that we get with the original price to find that. So you want to pay attention to what the problem is asking you for to make sure that you're fully answering it. Um, because I know sometimes on quizzes and tests, um, kids will set up this proportion and then they won't give me the total cost if that's what I'm asking for. So make sure you understand what's, what's being asked for. So here's an example. Miss Brome wants to buy an iPhone. AT&T is offering a deal for $99. If sales tax in New Jersey is 7%, how much will the phone cost altogether? So what I'm asking here for is a total cost. What is it plus tax? Well, we need to do two steps, because the first thing I need to do is find out, well, how much extra does that add in tax? I've been told that it's 7%, so 7 goes over 100. I don't know how much money that's going to be, but the cost is 99, or the market price is 99. So from here, I can figure out what my sales tax will be. So we cross multiply and we solve. We find that it's an extra six dollars and ninety-three cents that you'll have to pay it. Well, Miss Brome, me, will have to pay in tax. Okay. However, the question asks how much is it costing altogether. So I need to take my tax, add it to my marked price or my original price, and then I can get my total price. So when I add those together, I find that the total cost with tax would actually be one hundred five dollars and ninety-three cents. So it's always a little more because we have to add in that tax. All right, so here we're just going to um, calculate um, the first four. We're just going to calculate either the tip or the tax. The last two, I'm going to find out what the total price would be, okay? So these ones, we're just going to calculate the tip or the tax. So I have a $450 rug that has a 5.5% tax. So I don't know how much I'm paying in tax. I know that the list price is 450 and that my tax rate is 5.5%, which means we're not in New Jersey. I don't know where we are. So again, from here, we just solve our proportion. And I'm going to use my calculator to save time. 5.5 times 450 gives me 2,475. And then when I solve for x, I get 24.75 in tax. So you're paying almost another $25 in tax on something that expensive. All right. Uh, so over here, a $926 dresser. Well, that's its cost. 3.5% rate. That goes over 100. I'm solving for how much extra money is that sales tax. So again, we're going to cross multiply. Again, I'm going to use my handy dandy calculator because I cannot do that one in my head that quickly. And when we solve, we find that it is $32.41 in tax. Okay. Um, the next two we're dealing with tip. We're still solving them the same way. Tip goes over your cost. 
So my meal cost, 48.75, that goes on the bottom. I'm tipping at a rate of, sorry, that was a terrible looking 10, 10%, that was not much better, which goes over 100. So I'm solving for how much money am I then giving in this tip? Um, so again, cross multiply. And I find out that it is going to be approximately, I'm going to round here, $4.88 because we can't give thousandths of a cent. All right. Um, here, $31 food delivery. So that's the price I'm paying. I'm tipping at a rate of 5%. So how much money am I going to be giving them? Cross multiply. There you go. 5 is 155. So about a dollar 55 is what we'll be tipping there. Okay, now in the last two, we're still going to do the same thing. The only difference is I'm going to do another step because I want to find the total cost as well. Okay? <coughs> <coughs> so here we have a dinner that cost 39.85. There was a 20% tip rate. So how much money does that become? And again, the calculator is my good friend right now for my bigger calculations. So I find that that's going to be a $7.97 a cent. Yeah, $7.97 tip. But how much would that be total along with the meal? Well, now all I'm going to do is add. So I'm going to take my meal price and the amount that I'm planning on tipping to figure out my total cost. So all together, if I give them that big of a tip, I'm going to pay $47.82 um, in all for this, uh, for this dinner. Okay, so here we're taking a taxi ride. It only costs us $9.75. Um, we're gonna figure out how big a 15% tip on that would be. So again, cross multiply. Oops, wrong button. Hit the right buttons. 975 times 15 gives me 14625. And again, what I'm going to notice here is I'm going to have to round because I'm going to wind up with extra digits that I don't need. So I'm going to call this a dollar 46 tip. So how much am I paying them all together then? We're just going to do some addition. And you can just ignore the ringing phone. I am. And we end up paying a total of $11.21. I am destroying the world up here. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to rewatch the video. You can post them in the comments. You can um, email me or you can ask in class. Have a great night. I'll see you guys tomorrow.